Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Hitman 3. It is finally out. If you guys caught the video I dropped uh, a couple of weeks back now, I was able to show you a little bit of the first mission, but now that it's actually officially released, I can dive in and we can continue the playthrough. So if you guys caught the last video, then you'll know that we did the mission in Dubai. Uh, I think it was called On Top of the World, and today we're jumping into the next one. So let's not waste any time. If you guys do enjoy this, like we super appreciate it. If you guys are playing Hitman, let me know. If you enjoy this and you want to see more, let me know. But let's dive in. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Swaggy coat. Look at this. Look at this. Don't you just love it? All right, there she is. Find the case file. Oh, I got on me. Right, let's see. Oh, I believe. This is a private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Hmm. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. Don't mind if I do. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. Let's do it. Let's become the investigator, shall we? Right. Watch out for the guards. See if I can find a time to... Ooh, what's that? Oh, wait. Yo, no, I can... Hold on a minute. Hold on. Since when can Hitman not go in the water? I, I, I swear. I swear. What? Unacceptable behaviour. Ooh. 
Oh no, I'm missing my opportunity. Oh, hello, hello, hello. No, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. I swear, Hitman used to be going to be able to go in the water. Uh, can I like, yo, my dude? When you investigate this, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a place I can find it. Oh. All right, this is. I'm clearly not going to be able to apprehend him this early on. I thought maybe I could just like. No, I'm gonna have to go and find him in another room. I need to become a guard. That's what I need. Uh, let's see. Let me bring out the trusty coins. Uh, where can I hide you if I kill you? There must be a better guard that I can nab somewhere around here. I know what I'll do. I'll wait for this guy to come back and I'll hide him in the bushes. And that'll be my way in. There you go, there you go. Go on. We might have a possible disturbance. I'm moving to investigate. We'll keep you posted. There we go. Penny for your thoughts, sir. Freaky. Perfect. Right, let's just uh oh, let me uh let me just drag you around the corner first. Somewhere where you won't be seen. Uh, around here should do. I reckon... No one will see you about there? Yeah, that should do. As long as nobody goes to that car, then I think we're okay. Uh, right. Disguise. And... Hope you don't wake up anytime soon. Didn't want to kill him, you know. I'll take his gun as well, since I'm allowed that. Security. Right. Commence building entry. Alright, you're a... Uh... Oh, Carlisle's already there. Thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy. Handled with absolute. I mean, I could just poke I around the corner and shoot her in the face, but we're not going to do that. And I don't we're give a toss about my though. fame if that's what you're worried about. My lips are sealed. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. You assume too much, Madam Carlisle. The crime scene. If such exists, is never where I begin. Do as you wish. However, I expect a result in a timely fashion. Fernsby will take over from here. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm, I'm not supposed to. Uh, I haven't got the. Uh, I will try to assist you as best I can. Where would you like? I'm the outside guard, not the inside guard. Where's the family? I like to prime the suspects a bit. Madam Carlyle's family members are all on this floor. Maybe start in the sitting room. If you'll follow me this way, priming, you say. All right, that's. That I need it's to like find myself a disguise. But he was such a gentleman. Because a I'm not going to be welcome here. Oh, oh, what? Look at that! I, I don't think I can get away with walking around with a saber. I don't have the key for that yet. Ah, uh, oh, hang on a minute. Is there somewhere I can hide here? Uh, yes, there is. Excellent news. Right, let's do this. Uh, oh, I haven't got the crowbar. Are you serious? No. Can I not just use a saber? Alright, we'll come back here. Mm. Who are you? Are you just a... Uh, uh, you're just a... Uh... Oh. Look at all the guns. Is there like a, a handy outfit lying around? No. Alright. Let's have a look. Well, 
Where are you going? Nowhere. Hmm. I need to think sensibly about this because I'm not going to be welcome here in this outfit. Why waste away in front of the books when he can play like that? This music makes my heart soar. Do, 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 do. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, here might work. Are you the only one there? No, but... I will pay you for your time, sir. Ah, that was, uh... Why would she do that? He died almost 50 years ago. Hmm. Never mind. I'm trying to find the best way. Can I close this door? Oh, hold on a minute. It's here. It's right here. This is what I need. Uh, turn the vacuum cleaner. I hide behind here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. Hey, you. Are you deaf? Follow me now. You are going to follow me. Did I not make myself clear? Come here. Okay, okay. Follow me. Good job, sir. Sure. Just keep moving. Sure, I'll follow you. Uh, I need this guy quickly. Hurry up, hurry up. I don't want anyone to see me. Put you in oh, wait, I thought there was a box here. No, this is bad. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. Is it in here? Well, there you go. Done. Whew. All right, well, first things first. I need to get rid of this shotgun. Uh, because I'm not allowed to carry that. But I can carry this. Right. Suddenly I belong here slightly more. That was not exactly clean, but we made it work. You know, a professional hitman knows how to turn the tide in his favour, or something like that. I'm allowed to walk in here. No one's going to suspect me. Hello, Mr. Pro. Gregory, don't you say more to that weird detective than just having a laugh, dear. Right. I must admit, he's pretty good. What if he believes we had something to do with Zachary's death? Oh, please. Cigar box. He's circling us. Let me just take this. I don't see him snooping around your sister. I bet the um, said something. If I could be bothered, I'd be worried about your mental health, Emma. Right. But sorry, I'm having too much fun enjoying the circus. <sighs> ah, so he, is he drinking? No, he's, he's checking the drink. Thought maybe I could put the old the old famous rat poison in there to make him go to the toilet. No. I've got to monitor his patrol, see what he's up to. Gregory Carlyle? Quite the detective. Well done. Tell me what else that mastermind of yours has figured out. I would rather know if your shocking behaviour serves other more serious. I just want to check in the meantime, because he walked out here last time. Is there somewhere I can Send him. Hmm, potentially. We'll work it out. And festering boredom. Sometimes resulting in risky behaviour. Private challenges. Murder, perhaps. <laughs> I like you. Cheek. Listen, Gregory. Something's off. Pruitt got word his motion was rejected. Where are you off to? We all signed the bloody thing four days ago. Oh, dear God, not this again. 
so I got hold of the officer. He says it was finalized, but then how can it be withdrawn? Just wait a few days. I'm sure it'll sort itself out. Is there a way I can lure him out? I don't know, that's gonna be too easy, too obvious. There needs to be a way. What an odd resemblance to Madame Carlyle's daughter-in-law. Huh. Could always, yeah, I could always drop that on his head, but that's not gonna work, because then everybody's gonna know he's there, and then I can hardly steal his disguise. Let's see. Come on. Any minute now. Any minute now. Where are you gonna go? Outside? Alright. Oh, oh, oh. This, ah, there's too many people there. No. This is not exactly as I had planned. Oh, this could work though. This could potentially work. I'll tell you what. Let's just try it the old fashioned way, shall we? Uh. Do, 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 do. Yes, hi, Cassie. It's me again. Edward. I, I know I'm not supposed to leave you messages, and this is the last time, I promise. It's around here. Just... Come on! I don't know how to handle this, obviously. Hey, hey! Okay, that was not about this. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. <laughs> hold on a minute. Uh, let's go back. <laughs> I was just trying to do something. I was trying to ting. Didn't work out too well. Let me just plan in advance. So he's going to go and stand around here. Is there anything I can do to lure him outside? Why waste away in front of the books when he can play like that? I guess I could turn on the faucet and that might make one of them run outside potentially. But you're right. It's beautiful. Let's test it. Let's see what happens. Oh, nobody seems to care. Yes, hi Cassie, it's me again, Edward. I, I know I'm hmm. not supposed to give you messages and this is the last time. Oh, where's he going? Is he going outside? Oh, excellent. Surely no one will see from here, right? Surely. Yes, perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Let me take the disguise real quick. If you're dressed like a Detective 47, you might as well act the detective. I suggest you go talk to the butler. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna pick up a brick because uh, bricks are always useful, just in case. They're searching for a god who no longer exists, so that's fine. Let's go have a little, have a little word with Jeeves, shall we? Oh, this is great. This is the best disguise. Nobody, look at my, look at my shades. Hey, how you doing? Not bad, mate. Not bad yourself. Did you talk, mother? Come along, butler. I need a word. Mr. Whitmer, are you ready to inspect the crime scene now? Yes, yes I am. I am. Very well. I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. Mm. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. Sure. I trust I do not need to remind you. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madam Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. Thank you, sir. Right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. 
Okay, let's have a look, shall we? What do we have? We have a book. Oh, a secret room. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Ah. Yeah, I've always wanted a secret room, though. Imagine that. Imagine a gaming room hidden behind a bookcase. What's this? Hmm. A photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. There's a lot of peeping holes. Oh, what's this? Huh. I think the crime scene has more clues, 47. It most certainly does, but I've just I've just found how he has died in the locked room. Call me Sherlock Holmes. Oh, what else do we have? Oh look, it's a mirror. What else? Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Hold on a minute, I'm looking around here first. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Wellingtons, you know. Right? Right. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Yeah, let's have a look. What's this? Oh, this must be the note. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared Hello, for you. Yes, so am I. Maybe it was the butler. It was Jeeves in the library with the candlestick. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only person's here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that Suspicious. I prepared. Suspicious. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Open the this is very useful information, 47. Okay. I've got to check all of them. Alright, alright. The, the suspects. Who have we got? I think he's the suspect, to be honest. But we've questioned him. Okay, uh... So how does one solve a murder yeah, mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps you prefer searching the manor for clues first? No, no, I'll speak to them first. Hello, sir. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Mm. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? For now. Not very thorough, are you? Emma Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. 
I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? Mm, not right now. Edward, Rebecca, and Patrick. Alright, where am I going to find all these people? Where are you hiding? Did it show me on the map? By any chance. No. No, it does not. Oh, but Zachary's room. I shall... I shall go... Oh no, that was the one that was in. Who are you? Oh, you're, uh... Professor Edward Carlyle. Can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes. This dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the Stag's Head around half past eight. Anything else I can do to help? Everyone does have marginally different times. She said eight o'clock, he said half past eight. I swear he said ten. But we'll see. Uh, I need to find the the dude with the shades. Where's he located? I told you what Emma did when she arrived. Tell me, she scolded Mary for not making the bed the way she preferred. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Hmm. It's locked. Is there a window in? Per chance. That is also locked. Okay. Alright. Uh, where is this other chap that I need to question? Mary is so upset. And she's never seen a dead body before. Life can be tough sometimes. It's probably and that upstairs somewhere. Asked to come here. Madame Carlyle must believe Zachary was murdered. Why let's go and let's go and have a look, shall we? Mm -mm. Oh. Here we go. I mean, the fact that I've got this costume, which gives me complete freedom, I could just run around the mansion and uh, and drop her. But that is the door to Rebecca's room. <clears throat> but I do want to uh, play this out as it's as it's intended, should we say? <laughs> All right. Where is the other member of How are family? You? Well, whoa, well, well. That's it. You One foot in front uh, of the other. Special goodbye word. forever. Okay. Sorry. Christ. Really don't have a clue to who you are. I know. I thought I was able to go anywhere. I thought I was given complete freedom. I'm the detective, after all. I need to investigate. You must have been in some incredibly dangerous. I Sorry, actually, I think I... Yeah, I, I right. should let you go. Where is... Spoken to him. Have spoken to him. His alibi was confirmed. As was his. Oh, okay, alright, alright, fair enough. Rebecca and Patrick. Well, how do I... Look at me getting all giddy. <laughs> it's like that door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. But they're all locked. I should have uh, got a lockpick or something. Hmm. Maybe I have to go upstairs again? Excuse me. You're not allowed here, you know. Right. I'm glad we speak the same language. Sorry, sorry. Upstairs is off limits. I see, I see. Uh... Please stay back. What room is... That's Emma and Gregory's room. It's 
small office, Zachary's room. So where is... Oh, I guess he doesn't have a room. I don't know where to find them. Check on the undertaker in charge of the funeral. I got word he's upset with Madame Carlyle. I did, sir. It all checked out. Hmm. Wait, what wall is. What room is this? Huh. Can I just, like, sneak around? Let's see. Oh, I can. Excellent news. Right. Rebecca's room. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Anything else in here of interest? Oh, what's this? Ha! Huh. Oh, look at that. This place is full of, full of secrets. Where does it lead? Oh! You are trespassing. Sir, you have to follow me right now. Are we clear? Yes, I'm clear. I'm clear. Leave me out. Leave me out. I'm sorry. I apologize. Huh. This is suspicious. Nice job. You're free to leave. Now don't let me catch you in here again. Alright, boss. Alright, alright. Okay, so we've investigated Rebecca's room. Who's left? Uh nope, not that. Intel, right. I've confirmed her whereabouts. Emma, let me check her room. So where are you? Opposite side of the hallway. But it's locked, isn't it? And then to the right. And it's here, right? Okay, so I'm going to need to... Is there a sneaky window again? Probably. Hmm. Don't mind me. Huh. Oh. I didn't actually want to climb. I kind of wanted to go around there to get to the room, but alright, well. Does this help? Does this even remotely help? Why am I here? No. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Nice. Doesn't look to be open, but I can get to the balcony, so that'll do. Do 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 do. Nothing to see here. Right. What's this down here? Oh, looks like you're hiding something. Now this is interesting. Forty-seven. A letter from Emma's mother 
stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. I would take the walk. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Hmm. Interesting. I think I need to go and speak to Emma again. Ask about the greenhouse key. Where are the stairs down? Here it is. I still don't know where the dude with the shades are, but we'll see. Oh, hello. I was looking for you. Rebecca Carl. Oh, no, no, I've already confirmed that. Can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. Okay. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. Hmm. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? Yes, for now. I do have a lot. How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? No. Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Okay. Hmm. The mystery continues. Perhaps I can go to the greenhouse. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Not right now. No. Where's the greenhouse? That's what I want to know. Uh... Have a little wander around, shall we? Madam Carlyle wants to inspect the arrangements for the staged funeral tomorrow. What's the delay? It's absurd. We're making a racket. Look, everywhere. The undertaker wants to join. I need to work on my aim. I'll never get rid of those so, stupid birds. I'm guessing if he was poisoned by a plant, then there'll be something in the greenhouse. But I hope I die in the autumn. I love autumn. Where is it? It's far away. Where we'll have a little run around the grounds quickly. See what we can find. Take all of you in today. I've never seen so many guys. 
Simon is here at the same time. Yes, there's so much to do before the funeral tomorrow. And the woman isn't even dead. It's too bad we're not like to Okay. Uh, nothing around there? Maybe there is no greenhouse. Maybe it was a lie. She's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening. If I ever thought. Oh, there it is. Found it. Ha! All right, let's have a look. Locked. Is there a way to break it? I don't believe for a second that Zachary committed suicide. We'd only just run through his plan for the spring seedlings yesterday. Yes, sure. But he, he was upset believing his sister was dead. I'd say worried about how things would be handled hmm. with Gregory and Emma taking over. I said they let him stay here, but Ethel was sure Emma would throw him out the first chance she got. Hmm. Now we'll never know. Oh my. You're taking this hard, See, that's where the poison comes from. But how do I get in? Where's the key? Oh! Ha! <laughs> um. Hmm. I don't see that going down too well, to be honest. Not with people looking. Have a quick look around. Maybe someone left a key lying around. Nope. Oh. Ah, oh, I see. I see. I see. Hmm. All right. Let me just test quickly. Let me do the old quick save, just in case it goes wrong. I just want to see if I can legally break in. Let's go, quickly, quickly. Alright, nice. GG. Nobody saw. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. poison uh camera this is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill zachary something is circled 47 female age 65 to 79 60 to 64 kilograms oh, back. i'd say madame carlisle is next in line for a poisoning you have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Ooh. Quite the detective, 47. Okay. I'm impressed. And I expect your cooperation in all related matters. I suggest you go tell Mr. Fernsby. That's what I'm trying to do. Unless you think there are more secrets to uncover. No, nope, no more secrets. Apart from, like, how to get back to the room. <laughs> All right, let's go. Yes, Mr. Fernsby. Hello, sir. I suppose we'll never get an explanation. It's not our plan. I'm ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carly. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Yes, I will. Well, Gregory was stopped at that, which was a surprise. He normally accepts his wife's outrageous behavior without batting an eyelid. But staying in the bed so soon is just a bit steep, I suppose. I 
Come on, Jeeves. Taking far too long to walk. Mr. Fernsby. You should call him Mr. Thornberry. Shout out to Nigel Thornberry. What's up? Upstairs this time. Okay. Oh. Moving up to the big leagues. Looking good, man. Looking good. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Looking good. Oh, Looking good. Okay. Thank you. Is there anything I can poison quickly? Before she gets here. Nope, I guess not. Your detective skills have gained you access to the Lion's Den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. Oh, there's so many guards in here. Hello. I feel kind of nervous now. I haven't planned for this. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Your niece, Emma Carlyle. Murdered your brother, Zachary. My niece? Emma is not my niece. She's my daughter-in-law. And your niece. Emma is the illegitimate child of your late older brother, Montgomery, who you and Zachary killed 46 years ago. That's preposterous. You asked me to find out what happened to Zachary. Would you rather not know? No. No, go on. I found a letter from Emma's mother, Jane, who was the fiancé of your older brother at the time of his death. She witnessed how you and Zachary pushed him off the balcony. She believed you did it to steal the Carlisle Empire from her and her unborn child. And she raised Emma to reclaim what she lost, marry your heir Gregory, get revenge, and secure the Carlisle Empire for her bloodline generations to come. Emma is the daughter of Montgomery and that local girl, Jane. She is. Well, the girl got it wrong. I didn't steal anything. I did what was necessary to protect the future of the Carlisles. Montgomery wasn't cut out to take over from father. All heart and no balls. Emma used the funeral gathering to speed up her installment as the lady of the house seizing the opportunity to stage Zachary's suicide. She did her homework, used a poison made from one of Zachary's rare plants, found old floor plans from Thornbridge Manor to gain access to his room through a secret passage. That scheming bitch. More than you think. I found proof that she will try to poison you next. Well, I'll have to take care of that. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. You have not disappointed. I promised you I would reward you generously if you solved the case. So, what do you suggest? I want the file you have on Arthur Edwards. Edwards, the constant. But how do you... Oh, I see. I expected you might show up. But to kill me, not help me. But I've been wrong on so many things lately, so why not this one? I will give you the file on Edwards. You've earned it. Okay. I don't suppose I could convince you to deal with my daughter-in-law now you're here. I would like to see her dead. No? What a shame. I'll have to see to it some other way then. How do I kill her when she's when the room is full? Hmm. We shall see. The 
file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him perfect. Thank you. Brilliant, Good sir. work, 47. Where are you going? That's the file on Please. Arthur Edwards secured. Thank you. Time to take no, care of Madame Carlyle. The file you want is in the safe. God, I hope you get Edwards and make him hurt. I need some privacy. Oh. Thank no you. No need to panic. Nice push off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that works. Mission complete. See well done, 47. Oh no. My comms have been broken. I had to get out real quick. Let's go. I can't forget his eyes. Oh, my. I need to peace out. See you later. I fear that Diana might have been taken. Uh, do, 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 do. This place like a maze. Do, 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 do. That worked out quite nicely. I'll take it. ICA assassin. I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, nice. I wanted that. Thank you. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 Paradise Central and Vestmore streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.